All right, so let's look at creating a simple, basic C program using Visual Studio 2010 Express. Um, again, it's pretty simple, just kind of like what we talked about in class. So you go to File and New Project. Um, you'll notice actually uh, from class there was a, there were a lot more options. But basically, you just want uh, Win32. Um, and we want the Win32 console application. Um, usually it defaults to, uh, to this directory, the projects directory, um, a subdirectory of Visual Studio 2010 uh, inside documents. Um, and then you can give it a name. So just like we did in class, uh, we'll call this hello. Go ahead and click OK. We get the, uh, the application wizard. We're just going to click Next. Um, select Empty Project. Click Finish, and here's our project. Now, to add a C file, again, pretty simple. We're going to right-click on Source Files, and we're going to select Add New Item. Okay. Now, here's, uh, here's our various options. We could even select Code. You'll notice there is not an option for a C file. It's all C++. Again, Visual C++ will compile C files. Okay, We just uh, need to give it the name. So down here under Name, I'm going to delete all this out, and I'm just going to type hello.c. Okay, so a simple C extension, that's for our C files. And we go ahead and click Add. And here is our C file. Okay, so at this point we can uh, type in our boilerplate, include .h, int main, um, hello world. Okay, so if we type all that correctly, we can go ahead and test this. Um, that is, I'm going to come up to debug, say start without debugging and verify that it works. And there it is. Okay, So it's just that simple. 